New at 6, wind turbine trouble. One of the Portsmouth windmills is standing still right now. Only a few years old, the blades outside the high school have stopped turning. And the cost to get them spinning again is sky high. From the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Pete Mangione is in Portsmouth. Despite a gentle breeze here at Portsmouth High School, the wind turbine blades behind me remain quiet. The three million dollar wind turbine which towers over Portsmouth High School is currently out of order. It came back alarmingly for high particulate matter in the in the oil. The oil sample was taken from the gearbox, a critical part of the giant structure. Now the town is in the market for a new gearbox to get the blades spinning again. Town officials tell me one vendor is currently offering two gearboxes for two hundred six thousand dollars. Another vendor had offered one for one hundred six grand. Acting Town Planner Gary Crosby um, says that doesn't include shipping and handling. This doesn't include the cranes and all of the other, uh, you know, the labor and transportation and everything else. Installed about three years ago, the Canadian company that sold the turbine also sold the town a warranty. But the company went under before the warranty could be extended. At the time, there, the warranties that we had with them were for two years, and then we had an opportunity to purchase extra years of warranty, and we would have done so, certainly. So, yes, we would still be under their warranties. Eyewitness News wanted to know if the town could have done more to head off the repair costs. Crosby points out that he was not involved in the initial purchasing decision, and that hindsight is 2020. Did we plan for the company to go bankrupt that we bought the wind turbine from? I, I suppose not, but um, you know, maybe was it prudent? Uh, would it have been prudent for us to plan that? I don't know. I don't. The town council will meet at a future meeting to decide on what to do about the turbine. That date has yet to be decided. In Portsmouth, I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.